Standard treatment uh, has, for, for celiac has always been a gluten-free diet. Um, this diet requires that those affected avoid wheat, rye, and barley. For the first time, a number of new medications are being developed for celiac. These medications all tend to work to minimize the effect of the gluten molecule on the immune system by breaking it down into a harmless molecule. One, one medication in particular recently published uh, results and showed that for a small amount of gluten, two grams per day, it allowed patients to have no significant damage to their intestine as would be expected in that dose. Treating celiac disease clearly requires patients to, uh, to undergo a dramatic change in their diet, which can affect quality of life. If there was a way to prevent celiac disease, this would be a dramatic change in disease management. There appears to be two ways to do that. Number one, breastfeeding up through several months of age, past six months in particular. And secondly, the approach to introducing gluten to infants. And several studies out of Scandinavia have shown that if the gluten is introduced between approximately four and six months, the rates of celiac disease could go down in those infants by as much as half. Certain things have changed with celiac disease and certain things haven't. The things that have changed are that in the near future we may see medications available for patients to protect them from contamination or small amounts of gluten intake. What hasn't changed is, is the diagnosis requires uh, thinking outside the box from the physician because the diagnosis is often quite vague, sometimes even completely asymptomatic. And the one thing that still has not changed and isn't going to change in the foreseeable future is that a gluten-free diet is the way we treat celiac disease.